How's everyone doing? I'm Captain Kyle Staten with Shallow Sightings and today I'm going to be going after bluefish. It's not something I usually do but I've been craving some smoked fish dip and um, bluefish is my favorite fish if you don't include mullet. Mullet might be my favorite fish of all time. Um, but I'm going to show you all how I like to catch them, clean them, and I'm going to show you the smoking process and I'm going to let my wife Katie mix it up into some good fish dip. Now, uh, Today, I'm going to be throwing a top water so I do most of the time. And uh, as you can see, there's spots here for three different treble hooks. I've removed all of them. I put one single J hook um, because I hate treble hooks. I've been stuck plenty of times. I don't want to do it again. And we should get into enough to where if, if, if he hits the bait and misses it, it's no big deal. Um, I also have a cheap wire leader here uh, so we don't get cut off. So uh, stay tuned and hopefully we we catch a few. I've repositioned a little bit, so hopefully the fish are more right down in frame. Also what I do with these blue fish is uh, I bleed them out. So I'll throw them in the cooler, I'll give them a second to uh, chill out, and I slit their gills. Um, that'll keep the, uh, the meat a little less bloody. <clears throat> so all right, let's catch another one. Number two, and I'm trying to be, get them in really, really fast because even though I have like 12 inches of wire, they'll often hit the knot above the wire. Then you lose your plug, you leave a bluefish with a uh, five, six inch hard bait in its mouth, that's not good. So uh, I just skate them in as fast as I can. I should be using a heavier rod, so some, you know, but I, I can't get away from throwing my little 1,000 eight pound braid. It's just too much fun. So uh, number two, a few more. He's digging like a grouper. Straight down. I didn't even twist that one. This guy makes number five. Let's head to the uh, cleaning station. All right, so we have our five bluefish. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to show you guys <clears throat> how I like to fillet them uh, since it's just myself filming. I fillet these just like a trout, really soft skin. You don't have to slowly go down their back like you would a redfish or a sheephead or a triple tail of something like or something like that. It can be flayed really quick, quick, and as you see, 
and miss any meat. And this is really the, this is the one thing I wanted to show everyone. This bloodline here <clears throat> tastes horrible. And it runs right down this middle part. So we are just gonna cut that out. And you do that by cutting right down this red line, you see. I like to do it from the top. And then if there's any left over, Ugh. Nice and clean. Nice and clean. It's got a little bit. If you want, you can clean it up. A little bit more. Bam. Hello, everyone. Just got uh, the blue fish on the smoker. Just want to talk about the few steps I did. Prior to that, I coated the blue fish. Um, and black meat seasoning. I got the smoker at the temp I wanted, put the wood chips on, and I waited until it started smoking really good before I put the fish on. Mm. That'll help um, give you the, uh, as much smoky flavor as that meat will accept. If you put it on too early and it's not quite smoking, uh, you know, the, the meat can only accept smoke for so long. So, um, got my temp set at about 190. I think it's gonna take an hour and a half to two hours. I've never actually timed it. I usually check it after an hour and and uh, just kind of wait till it gets the consistency I like. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like here as soon as it's ready. All right, it has been about an hour and a half or so, hour and 15 minutes. I totally didn't keep track of the time. Seems about uh, time to check it though. Uh, feels like it's about time to check it, let's say that. Um, Still smoking. Tim's been kind of like right at 190, just under 200, which I, which, I, which is you know right where I want it. Let's see what we got. Well, it's it's looking about right. Um, so you see, I didn't use tin foil. I like it to get like overly done. Uh, I also took the skin off, which you saw in the when I was flaying the fish. So like this piece here comes right off the grate, and it's got a little bit of char. This is like these these small pieces are probably a too a too, like too much or too well done, but it's still gonna be delicious. The big ones are just right. So I think I uh, timed it up perfectly. I'm going to. You can see here like the small piece here. It's pretty crunchy on the edges, right? But in the middle. Not a whole lot of juice. These big ones, look at that. Like I just moved it and you can see there's still a lot of juice in there. So I want most of that to actually uh, get get uh, burned off by the smoke. So I might keep the big pieces on longer and I think I'm gonna take all these small pieces off here. All right, I've taken the smaller pieces off and I'm about to take the bigger ones off. I've, it's been about 15 more minutes I've, I've given the bigger chunks. I wanted to show you uh, the consistency I think kind of important when you're doing these bluefish. I don't know about other fish, like if you're smoking salmon or, or uh, you know, maybe like a, uh, a fish that has just naturally a better flavor. But I'm gonna show you what I'm looking for. And the love bugs have been out of control the last couple weeks. Okay, here we go. So you see this one here. It's very crispy on the tail and there's still a lot of juices up by the head. So if, if I let it cook till it was just done and took it off, it'd be way too juicy. So I think kind of overcooking the bluefish is important. Uh, so you get a combination. So there's not too much juice, rather, when you're when you're mixing uh, your dip up. I'm gonna get these big pieces off. Let's see what they look like. Yeah, they look about done. See all all the tails pieces are charred, and there's still some juices here in the thicker parts. All right, let's get them off and take them in the kitchen. All right, we have everything together, and I'm about to start mixing up the fish. I think I mentioned my wife was going to be doing this, but we have a two-week-old that she is attending to, so you're stuck with me. Um, here are the ingredients. This is like the base ingredients. Um, it's equal parts cream cheese, mayonnaise, and sour cream. I also like to add yellow mustard, Worcestershire, and Frank's hot sauce. Now. Um, we just use a little bit of the Worcestershire Franks. I like to put quite a bit in there. Same with the yellow mustard. I also have some garlic powder here I'm gonna add. 
There's a lot of flavor in the seasoning that I coated the fish with. So that's where you're getting you know, a lot of the other spices in the dip. Um, and let's start mixing. So I don't have particular measurements for all the ingredients, but it mostly consists of the cream cheese, mayonnaise, and sour cream. Um, the Frank's hot sauce and the mustard add at your own preference, and the Worcestershire, it's just a splash or two of that. Again, this is just a base. Feel free to add whatever additional ingredients you like. A lot of times we'll do chopped jalapenos or onions or some sweet peppers as well. Okay, so I had to add a little more of the mayonnaise, sour cream, and cream cheese because it just wasn't quite creamy enough. You want to be able to like you know, get your chip in there and, and grab a little piece, and I'm about to try it. Mm. It's delicious. Smoked fish chips. It's one of my favorite things to eat. One of my favorite snacks. It's creamy. It's a crunchy cracker. Nice smoky flavor. I love to eat it with jalapenos. I'll put more Frank's hot sauce on it. Um, <clears throat> it's so good. All right, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you get around to making some blue fish dip in the future, let me know how it turns out in the comment section. Um, there's a lot of new content coming to my channel in the very near future. So if you don't subscribe, please do and keep an eye out. Thanks everyone. See ya.